what is creativity has to do with relationships? I got this question lately uh, from someone uh, as I'm running this creativity course, Tap Into Your Creativity, based on the artist way by Julia Cameron. And then the woman was asking me like, wait a minute, Olga, aren't you a relationships coach for like conscious and smart woman? Why in the world are you doing creativity course? Seriously, girl, follow your own advice, pick a horse and ride it. <laughs> this is such a good question. Hello everybody, my name is Olga and I want to talk to you today about what is creativity has to do with relationships or better off, three reasons why creativity is crucial for lasting, loving relationships. Let's begin. So one thing that I wanted to mention guys is there's a big misunderstanding of what creativity is and what it really does. A lot of people when they you know hear about this book, Artist Way, if you guys haven't heard about it, it's an amazing book even if you don't join us for the course do get this book, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, when you think about artist way, the first thing that comes to mind is like artistic expression in terms of performing art or in terms of um, you know, maybe being a painter. And the truth is, it's not necessarily that, it's not only that for sure. Let me give you an example. We are talking about artistic expression ourselves. We're talking about our zone of genius. We're talking about uh, this unique to give and talent that we and only we have and how to express it and how to practice it consciously all the time. So my way to express this gift and my unique talent has nothing to do with painting, even though I like diamond painting, I should show it to you guys in just a little bit, but mine has to do with personal transformation and relationships. So if you think about it, my Canva is human brain and my brush is EFT or tapping and mindful change tools. That's my art. This is what I'm very excited about and this is what I'm really good at. I can talk about relationships and tapping and emotions all day long and I found a partner who is just like that who is interested in going deeper, understanding the pattern, unpacking them in realism. So the first reason why creativity is good for you or artistic expression or finding your own juicy artistic expression is good for you is because creativity is a great way to connect with yourself. Now, it also has to do with designing co-creative versus co-dependent relationships. If you guys haven't seen my video on that, make sure to check it out. And in those relationships, if you are not discovered your own truth and you have not discovered how you uh, uniquely serve on this planet, it's hard to create a conscious, gorgeous, co-creative relationships. This expression almost teaching you how to be happy, right? With yourself first. And when you figure out how to do it, you can teach others how to treat you too. It's kind of like a practicing and experience. Once you experience that, you understand what it feels and you can treat and practice it too. Now, the second reason why creativity is so good for you and for your relationships is because creativity is deeply connected with sexual, sensuality and sexuality and intimacy. If you think about it, that root chakra, I'm talking about place between your legs, is the chakra of creation. That's where your sexuality lives and if it's blocked or if it doesn't feel good there, then your creativity also doesn't flow as naturally. Those of you who have experienced moments of when, you know, when you're in a flow, when you're just so enjoying and you feel so good about what you do, you know what I'm talking about. You know that thing that, that you can do like the whole day long and time flies when you do it and you barely stop it to maybe, you know, eat a banana or use the restroom. That's the type of thing I'm talking about. So for me, it's writing, reading, learning, teaching, anything about emotions and stress and relationships when I feel that way. I can literally go all day long and time almost disappears. Now, when I feel excited about this work, guess what I feel it? A little bit embarrassing, but I feel it there. I feel it in that part of my body. So sexuality and creativity are very closely connected. And then you do, when you do your creative work, when you unpack your creativity, when you learn to be creative, you actually heal the sexual part of yourself. And going through, you know, old memories and addressing and releasing those old traumas and experiences is a huge part of you becoming more creative and you allowing yourself to create. Maybe I don't explain very well, but I remember somebody talking about it and I was like, 
Oh my gosh, it makes total sense. Of course, that's the part of us that create. Our babies come from there, right? It is a very creative part of us where we literally create life. The third reason why creativity is so good for our relationships is because it's teaching you how to be honest and authentic. Sometimes it's actually hard to describe and express our feeling through words, but if you find an art to be honest about who you are and to be honest to express yourself, you can sometimes do it right. I know women who painted their feelings. I know women who sang their feelings. I tap my feelings, right? So sometimes when I have a difficult conversation with Ernie, we don't just sit and talk. I said, Ernie, I need to tap on it. And I'll start tapping. And the second I start tapping, I actually can start talking about this, right? It, the words come out easier, which kind of makes a lot of sense because tapping is that good for your body. It, it releases the stress, it releases the blocks, and it allows you to be more authentic and present when you talk. So find your art. Practice your art. It's a beautiful thing to do. If you don't know where to start, Artist Way is an amazing book and a journey that Julia Cameron will take you to to uncover and discover your creative self. Speaking of which, I've been dreaming to run the course like this, tapping course, tap into your creativity course for years. I think the first time I had this service back in 2012 when I just heard about this book. Now it took me a while to finish this book, three times. You know, Third time when I finished it, a lot of things started changing in my life. I quit my full-time job. I uh, found and fell in love with a man who became my husband. I went to travel in Italy. Lots of other things improved and changed drastically. So I'm super excited to share with you guys that we are finally running the live course. It was total almost coincidence how it happened. A few ladies saw me doing this work online and they mentioned, hmm, I wish I would be part of the tapping group. I said, we can totally make it happen. Next thing you know, we have an amazing group of women going through this journey together. It's a super affordable course. I'll make sure there's a link below so you can check it out. We are starting mid-September and we would love to have you on board. Either way, if you decide to join us or not, I highly recommend to get this book, work through the Artist Way book. It's absolutely life changing. Julia Cameron is brilliant. Your relationships will improve. Your relationship with yourself will improve. Uh, it's really good for your business. It's good for healing your part, for connecting to who you truly are, and just so many other ways. So I hope you guys will join us or just go ahead and grab a book and work through this. But either way, I want to wish you to explore your creativity, tap into your creativity. You are worthy and deserving of love and abundance. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.